Traders, how are you doing? Welcome to another video here. We got uh, earnings season coming up. Today is July 13th. It's a Saturday. Putting this video together for you. Pretty excited. I got some really good ideas here I want to share. Um, trades coming up. Um, we'll revisit a few trades that I've taken. Um, some of the stuff I've, I've mentioned in previous videos. Uh, so let's get right to it. First off here, we got the SPY. Now, as always, uh, if you've been following my videos, weekly chart is up here on the upper right hand side, the daily. Uh, down the lower left is the 60 minute chart and then the 15 minute chart to the lower right. And again, I, I mostly cover pretty much actually that's all I cover is longer term trades, swing trades, trades held for three to five days to, um, to three to five months uh, and beyond. Um, on these higher time frames. I do day trade uh, as well, but I don't cover day trades really in this video in these video series I want these updates uh, most people are buying and holding and if you are more of a novice I suggest you do that rather than day trading uh, the, the the candlesticks unfold a lot slower and you can follow your plan and uh, we will actually talk about one that I got stopped out of um, Just this last week and I'll share with you uh, what happened and why I took my stop all right, so what do we got here? Let's just go to the longest time frames. Um, a lot of noise, but you'll see here in the weekly, uh, pretty much from July, which is right here, to July now. It's over the last year we've gone from about you know 270 to now 300, um, with a trip up to 290, back down to 230 almost, and then all the way back up. So we, for from pretty much these 11 months, we went nowhere, even though it was a, it was a very inefficient movement in that we went nowhere, but we did a lot of uh, we moved up and then came down quite viciously and then came back almost. Almost as um, uh, with as much um, um, excitement, I guess, as the the down move, um, where we kissed off this. Look at this 200 period moving average. Literally hit it, uh, turned right around, went back up. So um, overall, very constructive for the for the pros uh, the prospects of this going higher at this point. Because when you have a clean out like this, let's just pull this weekly out a little bit more so you can see more. When you have these sort of knee jerk down, what it does is it clean it cleanses. It takes people out. Um, it makes them more scared, and therefore it opens up the opportunity for this thing to go higher. Uh, and then once, once this thing starts to get the climactic, if you see this thing continue to roll and the volume gets really high, kind of the reverse of these red bars, they're green bars, and they're giant with tails possibly, and volume's getting crazy, that's when it's time to start selling. At this point, everything looks fine. I've got long and short ideas. I have been playing long um, plays and short plays over the last... Well, pretty much <laughs> since my career started. So i um, always playing both sides. Uh, there's always something to short, in my opinion. There's always something to go long on. Uh, right now, though, the, the, the flow is to the long side. It still is. We've had a, pretty much a, a cup, pretty pretty a V cup with a um, sharp declining handle. And then the break here above the little line, you can see right here, um, in hindsight, was the trigger. Now, I, I don't really play the SPY. I day trade the SPYs. I don't, I don't swing trade it. Um, but it's moving higher and we're at, at all time highs here or new, t new highs. Uh, and it looks like we want to go higher. Volume has been strangely low, which is not necessarily a good sign, but doesn't mean that, um, this breakout is going to fail on the NASDAQ, the QQQ here, um, similar type things. We've got these knee jerks down again, cleansing, taking people out, shaking out the weekends. This one really shaking out people. Uh, and then this, you know, disbelief that it comes back up. Um, and then, and then a disbelief that we're really going to go higher here after such a long, you know, multi, multi-year run. But these cleansing moves oftentimes um, reset the base count, and you can start, you can start uh, buying again. Now, technically, you know, a lot of my swings I've already been talking about them in very profitable. Um, a lot of the gold trades have been doing well, so I'll talk about a few of those as well. So uh, let's get to some specific ideas to trade coming up. Actually, before we get into ideas, let me just show you um, a, a trade I was just stopped out of. This is CGC on the weekly and daily chart. Now, I've actually moved it back in time. So this, this candle here is around April uh, 15th, right here. Um, and here, this is the week of that same, about that same week, around, yeah, mid-April, April 12th. Now, you'll notice here, what I was seeing was a cup with a handle forming, right? Um, pretty sloppy, but you got bottoming tails here, and it's drifting lower and very low volume, looking like it's ready to go. Look at the volume here on the daily chart in that same area. So technically here, the next day, or the next week, I'm sorry, it busted above that entry point. You got the moving averages right here. To, it's in an uptrend. Thing looks like it wants to go higher. Beautiful move back up. Okay. Uh, entry here in the low 40s, about $42 a share. All right. And there it is on the daily chart. Let me catch the daily chart, and you'll see it pop right back up. First target, if you're if you're scalping more, in that you want to, you want to take the resistance points, um, take some profits off if you've got a full size position or a, 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 a well basically a full size position. You want to trim it down. Is around 50 because you'll see it topped out here 
Um, and so it would have been prudent to do that. You can see it busted through 50 and 52 here on the daily chart. And then it came back down here. Let me get the weekly. In fact, let me just fast forward it now to today, and you'll see what happened. And it came down and it broke down here this week. Okay. Now, notice it came up, and once it, once it topped out here and started coming back down, Okay, it wasn't enough for me to get out of my trade. I'm fine. I, I know my stop is below this low here. Okay, it's below that low, and I'm holding my position and staying with it because I'm not. I, you know, I've got a stop and I've got a target. And typically, if I got the stop and target, I don't. I don't front run my stops or my entries um, or my targets. Uh, I, I pretty much follow my rules. Uh, and the reason being is that it's it's it, what, what happens is you start browbeating yourself and you play games with yourself and you'll end up getting out trying to save a few bucks before your stop gets hit saying oh I know the stops gonna hit and then the thing turns around and goes and it never really did hit your stop and then you're then you start revenge trading same thing on targets same thing on entries front running the entries say, oh this is gonna hit for sure and then you get in before it actually triggers uh, and then you get um, clowned so this one as I mentioned if it breaks below this low I tweeted about this I, I'm, I'm out I'm, if, you, if your stops get hit take them and my stop got hit here right at 38 so I was out and now you notice the next day it did gap down and go down now this is again looking at it now it was a really good idea to take my stop when I did okay it saved me a hell of a lot more pain than happened the next day now that doesn't mean this thing can't open tomorrow or Monday at $50 a share it can and I have seen this happen and I have had my stop taken out to have it turn around the next day and gap up $8 okay um, it could also open up the 20 25 20 it could open up at one right anything can happen but you got to follow your plan um, and this is a perfect example of where it actually did a great job of saving me money as of right now now this thing could like I said could turn around but I'm still interested in the stock it's still in an uptrend it's get basically getting the cleanse here right um, I'm gonna see how it behaves maybe it'll find some support here at the 34 range maybe it'll find it down here in the 30 range the the supports bottoms here around $25 a share I see this when I saw my stock. I said this thing could go could go down pretty easily to twenty five twenty eight dollars a share, and I don't want to be in it um, during that run. Um, it could turn around, like I said, open up at fifty, but it wasn't worth it to me to hold on to my shares. I was like, screw it, I'm I'm doing well in my other positions. I'll take the money out of this one and put it into something that's working well. Okay, that's the the idea. You're you're trimming off the losers, um, and then you're putting your money into winners or new ideas that have good setups. Um, and so that's what I did here. So uh, this is still going to be on my radar. I'm still watching it, <clears throat> but it broke down. I'm out. I think it goes go as low as 20, 28. If it gets down to 30, 28, again, I'll start scrutinizing it really close. Or maybe in six weeks, it'll sit here around 34. It'll hold. Maybe it'll put some bottoming tails in and look like it want to go. It looks like it wants to go back up. And I may get back in at 34. I may get back in at 40. Heck, I may get back in at 50 if it gets up here and sets up for me. Or 55 or 60 or, or 100 way down the road. Who knows? But I'm going to be in this or watching this going going forward, um, but I do want to point out why um, I believe taking stops is a huge part of a successful trading business. Okay, IONS. Um, this is one I've been in and out of, and um, I'm watching this now as it's, as it's bottoming out. It had a beautiful breakout here you'll see on the weekly chart. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Volume was real tight, small, basing along, and then all of a sudden, kaboom, it just rocketed. Great run. Okay, um, it pulled back here now pretty pretty hard. It came pretty much down just as fast as it went up. Um, and it held this area, the $60 area. And you can see that it sits here. On the daily chart, you'll see it's kind of forming um, a, a, it was a low and then a higher low and then a lower low. Now, one, two, three, four higher lows now on the daily chart and one, two higher highs. And this higher high is right around $67 a share. You see on the weekly chart, you've got kind of a setup here in this um, area between the 20 and 40 period moving average. You've got the 200 kind of curling up slightly. Okay, so we are in, in an uptrend. It's in an area here where it would be very interesting to me. And I like this as a buy over the 67 mark. Now, the problem is, is your stop's going to be about 5 to $6 a share, okay, depending on how much cushion you give it. And your initial target, my initial target, would be, uh, if I'm real tight, $75 a share, but I'm really looking for 85. I'm looking for a revisit of this high on this break. So if you get in a 67, um, that pretty much gives you about an 18, $17 target with a $6 stop service, about three to one. But you're gonna have to let it ride all the way up there. If you only go to 75, then you're looking at eight bucks um, on your target, and you're risking six, and that's not a good idea. So trade the size you trade that you want to trade if you like this trade if it sets up and if it triggers again I wouldn't front run it uh, I would strongly suggest you not front run it or if you have a way if you're doing a daily chart um, 
uh, entry, you see entry is actually already here at 65. So it depends on if you're trading a weekly chart or the daily chart. Um, but I think the overall entry where this thing can can really start running is if it gets firmly over $67, $67.50 a share. Um, if it can get above that, I think it can run. Uh, but again, the, the reason why I put this video out now is because earnings season is coming up. So check, make sure you, where all these, not just this one, but all of them are reporting because that could be uh, a, a day where it gaps up or gaps down significantly. And you need to figure out with your trading plan whether, whether you want to hold a small position or no position at all until before or after earnings. Uh, so that's a big part of this. So be aware of when all these stocks report as well as this one, I-O-N-S. Uh, this is another one um, I bought really right in this area here, really very nicely, came up, made a nice run. Now it's pulling back here, um, looking for another setup, cup, handle, look for a break above this high to add to the position. WPM looks solid. Uh, a lot of these positions, I, I own GLD, um, and again, I'm not selling at this point, just riding this wave, and there's really no entry. I mean, you've got technically a flag forming here, um, but it's really sloppy. So GLD I'm in, GDX I'm in. Um, another one where it's, it's strong, you've got a flag set up. It looks like it wants to break up above. But again, reward to risk might be tight or tough because of these wide um, ranges of these candles. You're going to have to put a lot of uh, risk on there. You're going to have to, you know, the, the legitimate stop on this thing if you were to get in would be uh, 24 to 24.50 a share. Um, and you're looking at, you know, probably $2 on your risk. And typically this thing doesn't move that much. Now, that doesn't mean it can't move a lot more and change its personality, but... Those are the things you got to think about. But I'm in this one too, and Newmont. So what WPM is kind of in the same type of group, industry, and uh, the strong. Uh, KL is another one I really like. Keep an eye on this one too, Kirkland Lake Gold. Um, so if you're in the space already, this one looks a lot cleaner. You can see it here, um, basing, uh, looking for a possible buy over the $44 area with a stop at 40 on this KL as well. Uh, Medtronic here, MDT, uh, back up to these highs. So you've got this big up for me you've got a handle here forming out right here it's a little bit wide and loose but you're looking for a breakout above hundred dollars a share and a stop below the lows here around ninety six dollars a share in that area um, you've got the moving averages crossing over you've got the 200 still kind of creeping up um, I think this thing looks higher MDT another one I'm watching over hundred dollars a share you know another one here target uh, target is also round tripped back up to this ninety dollar price range is basing here near these highs volume is low um, it's, it's, it's kind of a loose handle. You can see here with a lot of topping tails, but uh, I like this as a possible breakout over this high, uh, maybe 90, 90, 50, $91 a share. Look for a breakout above that, but I'm watching target also, uh, as a long idea. Home builders, uh, been strong here. PHM really just broke out uh, Friday. You can see above the high here above this base, uh, on this long handle, the handle's kind of wide and loose, so not optimal, but this PHM is going higher, uh, KBH. You can see also not quite breaking out yet. It's a little bit weaker, but you can see the bottoming tail off this vicious move down, pop right back up in this base. I like it as a breakout over 27-ish. Um, stop below the tail, looking to go higher here on KBH. DHI, one of my personal favorites. Let's see it come up here. There we go. Uh, wide and loose here on the weekly chart here. You can see as well it had that similar move down, um, but it's coming back up. Look for a setup here near these highs on DHI as well. Uh, the weakest one in the group that I, the, the, is this toll. Um, this one's not quite reacting as well, so I would avoid this one for now in this group. Um, you can also obviously play the XHB, which is the uh, Home Builders ETF, and you'll see that it too is up here near highs trying to break out. Um, in fact, it broke out on Friday, so um, technically it already hit. So you can watch this for a re-entry or a slight pullback or another entry, but uh, this thing looks strong and it looks higher as well. Uh, let's cut, touch on a couple short ideas. Foot Locker here, uh, it's come down really hard. It's really a, kind of a flag here toward the bottom. You can see it kind of creeping lower. Uh, I like it as a short idea below these lows with a stop over the highs right here on the weekly chart and looking for a, a, a type of an equal move, if you will. For, so this one moved from, what, 64, 64 to 44, so $20. So I would look for a move from about 45 to 25, ultimately, if you're in this long term. Uh, Foot Locker watch this to go lower uh, as a short idea. Uh, Bristol Myers actually already kind of broke down, but you'll see it's also weak here near the lows, declining moving averages, declining 200. This thing looks lower. Bristol Myers, um, Nucor, 
uh, under 54 here, you'll see a retracement back to the declining moving averages uh, and it's crossed over its 200-period uh, moving average twice here now. Uh, this retracement is actually really nice. Um, watch it for a setup here. You can see it basically triggered on the weekly chart and then reversed, but it hasn't taken out the stop. So um, I'm watching this closely for an entry as a short idea here on NUE. And last but not least, uh, CCL, another one. Big red bar basing here, uh, kind of flagging near the lows. Watch it for a break below the lows with a stop below the high of the flag um, as a move down. You're looking for a similar move to this, which was, if you look at it, it was, it was based off of a gap. And I can't remember if it was an earning. I don't think it was an earnings gap, but I, I can't recall. Um, you can see it gap down. It closed actually higher than turned right back around um, as inching down. This thing looks like it's uh, going to go lower. So on my list for shorts. So anyway. Um, hope this all helped. Hope you found these ideas useful. As always, comment on the video. Send me an email, tom at tomwillertrade.com if you have questions. Um, and uh, follow me on Twitter if you're interested. Uh, I throw out ideas from time to time when I'm trading uh, and things that I'm doing. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, have a great trading session session uh, during earnings uh, over the next month, couple months. And uh, we'll talk to you in the next video.